conference tournaments beginning in earnest, uh, what what could actually change seeding significantly in in action over the next several days, Seth? You know, uh, well, the, I guess bullet yeah, pointed for me. Yeah, well, the the, the big I, I always find the bubble. Uh, aspect of it to be far more interesting than who's going to be number one. I, like the, I love to talk the conversation about number, number one seeds because anything that gets people interested, uh, it, 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 to me, it's great for the sport. But I think it's one of the most overblown things in sports. I mean, what really is the difference between being a one seed or a two seed? Well, the but difference big, in in terms of that uh, is because yeah. it seems that uh, the selection committee has been underseeding some considerably tough conference small supposedly small conference champions or the difference between a three and a four means you know maybe taking on murray state potentially you know yeah who i I want no part of seeing this kid morant the way that he's playing but i I, not to interrupt you so i guess who's who's on the bubble uh that needs to win this week you think yeah well that's like that to me like we talk about the mid-majors that's going to be another point uh, of discussion we're going to be talking about all week as, as well. I think Belmont uh, is this year's call celebra in uh, in that regard. But, you know, right now I'm, I'm watching um, it's halftime of Ohio State and Indiana, and both those teams are well under 500 in their conference, which to me, you know, I, I realize it's kind of um, unrealistic, but I think if you're under 500 in league play, you should be ineligible for an at-large bid. Uh, that aside, you know, I think the loser of that game is probably not going to be in. There might be room enough for both of them, but it's going to be a lot harder. And they both, you know, the hardest thing that the committee has to do, Rich, is take into account injuries. Like for Duke, you know, they lost a bunch of games without Zion. They've only lost one season, one game all season at full strength, and that was back in November and now at Gonzaga. So, um, you know, both Indiana and Ohio State have had uh, injury issues. And then over in, in the ACC and NC State um, is at halftime of, against Virginia right now, and they're actually winning. Um, I don't expect it to hold up, but if it does, uh, NC State uh, probably has played its way into the tournament. So when people say that you know, the regular season doesn't matter in college basketball, I mean, there are games that were played in November and December where those results really loom large. When you're talking about teams that are so close in terms of their resume, one really good win on November 11th is literally the difference between being in the tournament and not being in the tournament. So a lot of a lot of games being played today and tomorrow are really fraught with uh, with gravitas, if you will. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.